Hello and welcome to Asian Century. I'm Brendan Fernandez, and this week I'm in the capital of cool, Tokyo. There's a growing breed, it seems, of men who are more sensitive, more sedate, more moderate, and more feminized. The Japanese term for them, soshoku danshi, literally translates as plant eating man, unlike their fathers who are the meat eaters. The term has nothing to do with what they eat, it refers to what they are. Masahiro has lifestyle choices typical of his herbivore peers. He enjoys a gentler pace of life, eschewing the hard-working, hard-living, hard-drinking ethic of men a generation ago. Masahiro would much rather potter around town on his bicycle than lust after a sports car. He'd rather visit the museum or gallery than get wasted on sake with colleagues after work. Men like Masahiro don't really care to be as macho as their forebears. Perhaps it's all part of evolution.僕はたまに飲んだりするぐらいでゴルフとか車買っ飛ばすとかそういうのは別に好きではないですね。はい。そんえっとなんだろう。昔のイメージかって言われるとそうではないですけど、えっとやってる人はそんなにいないんじゃ
今回待ってるのでもうちょっと強めに来てもいいと思います The herbivore has a particular style not as a deliberate badge to stake a divergence with convention. Rather, it stems from a desire to retain some control in a world they deem too uncertain. Looking good, it seems, makes them feel good too. To understand more about the culture of the plant eater, I decided to try it out for size, the style at least. I went to get my eyebrows trimmed. According to stylist Makato, this is a standard routine among herbivorous men. ヨスでは、あの、ヘアメイク、あの、眉毛をやるんですが、今一番あの、男性の中で流行ってるのは髪の毛に髪の毛にあの、付け毛をつけて少し長くして、まあ、女性っぽく見せたりとか、まあ、